When did you last take a road trip? Maybe you used a map to help you plan where and how to visit a place. Maps are an essential tool for helping us to understand the wider world. We only have our five senses. Our sight and hearing are very limited compared to the size of the world. Maps help us visualize the world beyond our senses. People have been using maps for a very long time. We don't know when the first maps were created, thousands of years ago or even longer. The oldest known world map is from Babylon, dated to around 600 years before the current era. The value of a map is to provide a model of the real world. You can see at a glance a much wider region than you can see with the unaided eye or even with a telescope. For example, we can see the entire world in a single map. The best way to use a map for navigation is with a compass. Columbus sailed west from Europe to the Americas. How did Columbus know which way was west? Although he could have used the sun, a compass helped Columbus to steer a more accurate course. How was the compass invented? In ancient times, people used a lodestone, a naturally magnetized rock called magnetite, to indicate direction. If shaped correctly and allowed to swing freely, the lodestone orients itself north-south. That is, it acts as a simple compass. Without the lodestone, Early navigators had to rely on the sun or stars, which are obscured during bad weather. This Chinese artifact from the Han Dynasty has a spoon made from lodestone. Like the lodestone, the compass needle is magnetized. The magnetic field of the needle aligns with Earth's magnetic field. Since Earth's magnetic field aligns approximately north-south, the compass needle also points north-south. By keeping the ship on course at a constant angle to the needle, Columbus could be sure his ships were always headed in the same direction. However, Columbus noticed that the north-facing needle did not always align with the North Star, the direction to Earth's geographic North Pole, or true north. The needle sometimes deviated by several degrees. He realized that the direction to true north was slightly different from the direction to the magnetic North Pole. The difference between magnetic north and true north is called magnetic declination, measured as the angle between the needle pointing to magnetic north compared with true north. Navigators today still use compasses. Most ships have a compass in the bridge, from where the ship is steered. The compass is also used in the sport of orienteering, in which people walk or run long distances cross-country using a map and compass to find their way. Compasses are still useful in situations where batteries might run out since cell phones and GPS need batteries although they have replaced the compass in most day-to-day -day uses. One drawback of the compass is that over time, Earth's magnetic field shifts. Also, at any location on Earth's surface, the magnetic declination can differ according to Earth's magnetic field lines. The changes mean that magnetic declination also changes. To account for the changes, the navigator must calibrate the compass. This calibration is done with isogonic lines. An isogonic line represents locations where declination is the same. This map shows Earth's isogonic lines. As the isogonic line map shows, maps and compasses are ideally used together. The map is a model of reality. The compass gives you a reference point to relate the model to the reality. All maps should properly show a minimum of four features. First, the map should have titles and labels to clearly indicate the depicted area. All maps need to have a scale to allow the user to estimate actual distances between objects on Earth's surface indicated by points on the map. A scale is a ratio such as 1 centimeter to 1 kilometer, or 1 inch to 1 mile, so an inch on the map represents a distance of a mile. Most maps will also include a legend or a key to show the meaning of symbols or color coding used on the map. A map should also include a direction indicator, usually pointing toward north. Some maps have lines of longitude and latitude to indicate direction. A simple map may have just an arrow pointing to north. In older maps, these arrows were elaborately drawn, usually showing the four cardinal directions, leading to the name compass rows. This figure shows a modern compass rose that would be used on a nautical chart. Note that this compass rose shows magnetic declination, pointing slightly west of true north. When you use a map and compass together, you can determine your location and follow a designated route. Today, a map is commonly used with a handheld GPS or a cell phone. The GPS, short for Geopositioning System, uses triangulation of satellite signals to plot points on an electronic map. 
A cell phone triangulates between cell towers to determine position. It's no exaggeration that GPS and cell phone mapping have revolutionized navigation for everyone.